Hey YouTubers, this is TV Man Three Three Three, and this is my video review of Wanted Wanted Weapons of Fate. Um, for us talking about this video. for the Xbox Three Sixty. Um, this is a great game, but it is very, very, very short. That is the, in my opinion, the only downside is the fact that it is so short. Um, oh, if you go in the description, I'm going to put, um, the cheat for you there, so, if you want the cheat. You enter the cheat, by the way, down here at the secret codes. We're just going to start a new game. You can either have normal game, which is Wesley and Crown, or you can play the entire game with a special suit, or a Janice. Which is, if you see the movie, that's his boss. Um, I'm gonna just do it for normal right now. Um, yeah. You can do it in three difficulties. You got Pussy, Assassin, and the Killer, which, you know, once you get the Killer, you have to finish the game on Assassin difficulty. For right now, I'm just gonna do this, just for the sake of the review video. What if everything you knew about your life was a lie? It could mess you up pretty good. Make you do things you didn't think you were capable of. I wanted to know why me. I'm not gonna watch well, this. If you wanna watch this, just look up the walkthrough on this cut it. Okay. So this game, you play as Wesley. Or like I said, and then into the game by enhancement is gonna give you Basically, there, Wesley is your character. You can shoot. The gun you, the other gun you use is these. Uh, you can curve bullets, you know. Uh, I'm not going to use that because it's going to go. I have a okay, Whoever's up there picked the wrong fucking apartment. Um. People, some people say this game is bad. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's way too short and actually pretty easy. Um, Three months ago, if I'd been awakened by as you can see, the cutscenes are barely, very. I'm trying not to let them see me cry, but uh, well, a lot can happen in a short period of time. Very nicely animated. It's also the only other gun I've been looking at that picture for days. I thought I'd never be picked. Um, I know you can't see it. I know you can't see it with the quality of the video, but the uh, the cutscenes are very nice quality, very sharp. They're definitely different than the game. Right, so pretty much, you know, you can curve bullets. Let me show you. Hey. Heard we got my dad's apartment in Toronto. I think the French had tools and flashier. So I think that is just pretty cool. And I have it on cinematic mode right now, which is going to be in the description. And what cinematic mode is, you can also do this, which is slow mo by. But if you don't have the unlimited adrenaline turned on, you'll, you'll use adrenaline. But, um, yeah. In most cases, this is a very nice. I know you can't see the great the quality because of uh, unfortunately my video, but um I think you really pretty much get the gist of it. That's curving a bullet. Catching one side here. It's basically like most of the reviews said, an adult version of high school. Really that's that's really one of the best ways to describe it. Because you're always ducking behind cover. Here comes the cavalry. Trying to duck behind cover. 
I mean, every time cinematic mode, every time you curve a ball and it hits, it falls forward. So, real quick. You can curve it out really just you know. Right, yeah, right there. So, in other words, this is a pretty cool game. I can't, like, take you on too long. Oh, so. well, this distracts the villain. Just randomly shoot it. But, uh, anyway. I can't do a full walkthrough in the beginning of the video of the game, but um, it's a very good game if you're a fan of the movie and pick it up. So, this is my review. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.